and welcome back to the sofa with me Adam and we are back playing Eve Valkyrie Warzone and it is pretty damn good I've been having a lot of fun in the online and I thought we should actually come back and have a go at it together and to prove a point at how good the online is and how these massively overpopulated servers are we're gonna jump straight in and it should be pretty quick at finding us something what they've done is they've done it with cross-platform, so Vive, Oculus and PSVR are all on the same servers, which is fantastically good for this, and we're in. There we go. Admittedly, we have to jump into a random match, but that's not all that much of an issue. If you just want to jump in and have a go, it's really fast. And if you want to do your own custom maps, that's not a problem either. Something I do quite often at the moment is I've been doing custom maps and just playing them in the middle of the night. And look at all these ships. Now, I've been enjoying the shadow, but we're going to have a bit more of an investigatory look around and see what some of these other ships are for you guys and for me. Because I kind of have the feeling for one of the heavy ships. Ooh, but I haven't tried them all. Whee! Right! And I know the maps, just a little bit, which really does help. Actually, we'll turn up there. This one looks pretty empty. Back this way, back this way. Drone! Drop one of those. Missiles, bad. Oh, this one, the rockets are like solid. Oh, does it not have missiles? No missiles on this one, just, just attached to the ship rocket. It's not really a huge issue, but it makes it very difficult to aim. Ah! Got him! Woo! One kill. Stressful though. Okay, where are we actually heading? Will you stay still? But I'm really loving the energy this game has. It's the best online experience I've found yet, and I've completely been overlooking it. I'll admit, it's probably not going to be for everyone. But I've been wanting a proper, oh look at that, proper dogfighting game for ages and collect those. We've got some extra XP's for it. Have we actually got this point? Point A is you just shoot some of these drones. Because the red lines are uh, bad drones and they actually need to be shot. And they slow down the process. Oh, one's hidden up there. Ah, clever bastard hiding it on the other side. Wait, where is he? Oh. Oh, it makes like a hole. It makes like a laser pattern where it has to go through the wall. Naughty. I'm trying to protect A. Shut up about C. No one cares about C. It's all about A now. <laughs> Doesn't the game know? God, it's so last week. Okay, he's trying to escape. Not really. Yay! We did that. That was an us thing. We captured control point A. And considering that we're online, it's actually really great how everybody seems to be. I don't know if the servers match players, but it seems to be so quick that I assume it's ra matching people at random. Durr. There we go. At least I've hit him once, and then you've got a tag on him. Drone! Ah, ah, go on. Run for it. I dare you. Ah, you can't run from me. This is a very fast ship compared to what I'm used to. The one that I normally fly is like a heavy ship after the stealthy one, which I really liked, but after a while I realised it wasn't for me. Ah, there's what we need to shoot. Yeah, explosions. Need to just pop out of here for a moment. A is being lost. Drone. I'll drop one off there and deal with this. Who's doing such a thing to point A? None of that. Point A will be ours. Though it's not much fun. Maybe we'll head back. Because <laughs> in a second it's going to ask us to attack their actual ship. A bit like you get in Battlefront. Oh, there's nobody there. Oh, he is there! Hiding in the ship itself all the little bits of metal the maps are massive that's been quite impressive oh they'll drop a ah they're not going to find that are they it's on the outside of the building ha <laughs> that's a horrible place to drop a drone unless of course i've got one right there with me who can shoot it immediately that would that would probably get rid of it wouldn't it i don't know what some of these buttons do there's always a power up on each ship and i haven't yet got to grips with what each one is i haven't really tried many ships so 
It's exactly why I'm doing it now with you. Because then you get to see. And you get to see kind of that they're not that bad to fly. You get the hang of it. It's a bit weird using something that aims entirely with its... Because the rockets, at least, were attached to the head. But they're very powerful guns. But I could just sit and watch that. Just gliding through. It's a shame there's no brake. Circle, by the way, has been pointed out to me down in the comments. Circle is brake. And it's kind of a bit weird, though. Because I'm holding circle now. And you kind of slow down. And you can turn on the spot more. But it's very... It doesn't actually bring you to... Ooh, a complete standstill. Can we go in here? Oh, we can! Oh, that's kind of cool. Someone follow me in, I dare you. No, no one's going to follow me in. That would be far too much fun. I'm trying to be a team player. It's difficult. Though I'm amazed I've lived this long. I thought I'd be dead by now. An assist. I think he flew into the wall, but... I'll count that. Meh. Let's try a different ship. Oh no, we died. <laughs> Let's try... We'll go up to a salt. Oh, I see the recommended one actually holds on to the last few ones you tried. That I didn't know. Okay, that's kind of cool. We'll go back to the one that I normally use. Because you haven't seen this one anyway. And it's the one that I prefer. It's a big, heavy ship, and it's got a gun attached to your head on the front, which I would normally hate, but it's actually really handy when you can't turn around as fast, and you kind of fly around a bit slower. Oh, I just love that engine. Hey, there we go. Oh, swoop under, through this, whatever that is, can't be bad. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. This way. See, the other ships are a bit nippier, but I kind of like the way this one handles. It's much more like a plane, let's say. It doesn't turn on the spot. It's very swoopy. And that really appeals to me. Oh, he just crashed straight into me. Damn it, I missed him. I've just got an assist. That's not great, is it? You want to kill someone. You want to kill them in cold blood. Cold space blood. I like this big cannon. It's nice having a huge cannon that just does lots of damage. Oh dear, he's really giving me the run around. It'll take more than that though. And it's got this long range one, which I really like. Ah, is that it? I mean, well done us, victory. We didn't get much time in my favorite ship. But there you go. Now you know what the actual gameplay is like. It's pretty frantic, but it's really good. I might have to, uh... oh wow. Hey, I came second. See, I'm actually not even that bad. Five kills, one death. And that one death I'd like to point out was my own because I wanted to swap ship. And as far as I'm aware, there isn't a respawn button. I, I don't think there is anyway. Grab our points because then we could put them into our ship. Got rewards, which some I can't do because I don't use those ships. Uh, maybe we could actually skip the online. Well, we, we're not skipping the online. Let's jump over to custom match and make our own quickly because there's some matches I would like to just show you like some of the uh, maps are pretty good and it will fill up with people pretty fast because you can select which maps you want to play with which is nice uh, which we want to use solitude and that'll probably be fine for now because I just want to show you that it's a great map game mode waiting for data map name waiting for data what an excellent and well thought out piece of writing. There we go, Team Deathmatch Solitude. And it kind of just does the rest for you. But there are a lot of options. You can even force everybody that comes and joins you to use the same ship. So you can just have a fight between either two types of ship or just one ship. So everybody is in massive heavies, which is quite a fun thing to do. I've done that once online. I just spawned into one and it said, you can't use any ship except this one heavy. And it was a bit of a... There was a lot of lasers and just big missiles flying around. It was very hectic. Right. Uh, I can show you the stealth one, actually. I'll show you this briefly. It's... Uh, I don't want to call it my favourite. It's one I've upgraded the most and spent the most time in. But it doesn't get me the most kills. The most kills is in the heavy ship. That's kind of where my heart lies. It's where my delicate British soul resides. is in a big heavy tank type thing. But no. I want to be good at this one. 
but I'm not. <laughs> so I'll show it to you and then we'll probably go back to the other ship. Ta-da! But I like the cockpit. I like having an arm sort of stuck out to the right and the left and straight down. And this one kind of has one that aims to your head and that's it. It just has one big laser. We'll fly with our friends because it just feels good. Where are they? There they are. Die! Whee! I do like the noise of this. It just sounds so powerful if you can hit them. It's a bit challenging. Oh wow, he's a weird... That's a weird ship. Ah, oh, because it's lightning, it kind of locks on ever so slightly. You just have to tag somebody and then... And you've got an invisible button. Though I can't ever really tell if it's made me invisible or not. Urgh. Come on. The AIs that are here are on hard. I'm just trying to stay out of their way a little bit. So that I don't die immediately. But the ship isn't really doing it for me at the moment. And look at these maps. They're huge. They go underground. There's loads of pipe work. Some of them are on planets. Maybe we'll have a quick fly around actually and wait for someone to... Oh, we've got someone's attention. I'll get him from here. But the maps are huge, other than that direction. You know, it goes all the way out there, all these rocks. It kind of... We were being shot at. It doesn't matter. I've instantly gone off the ship. I've spent too much time in the other one, it would seem. I think I'm better at this one. The Hydra. I also gave it a nice paint job, so it's all white. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so it blends in with, with all the snow, unless you're in space then it doesn't blend in with anything. <laughs> and I like the fact that it's got the long range laser because it's excellent for the sort of homing shot. I believe it's slightly homing. Hey look, it's a me. Let's kill it and prove to you how much better I am in this than I am as my other character. Uh, I say other character, other ship. I wish you could spray paint them. Wouldn't it be awesome? Mike said about, there we go, there's me. And we're back. But Mike came up with that. He said, wouldn't it be great if you had like a, a move controller and you could stand next to your ship and use the move controller to spray paint it. And I thought that was absolutely genius. How cool would that be to have a game where you had a car or a ship or a, a motorbike, any racing game, and you could actually stand next to it and then walk around it in VR in your garage and change the wheels yourself rather than do it through a menu. That'd be amazing. You'd feel proper like it was your ship. And when you've got a ship like this and it actually does look and fit. That's not good. I need to stay away from that. That was a bomb about to go off. Oh wow. I've never really stayed low to the floor. Looks all like Battlefront. Reminds me of Hoth. Oh, there's a big hole. Oh, there's not a big hole. Just a crack. It's nice. I could just chill here for a holiday for a bit. Some very large ships. Oh, I've been I've been spotted by the enemy. He's not going to be the end of us. We've not taken. We can do it. Missiles bad. Avoid. Avoid missiles. But it's such a great game. I am really enjoying myself. I should really talk about the game more. Ah. Okay. Tapping into solid rock formation is not the way to go. Right. Circle round. Big loop the loop. Let's actually get our bearings. We're being shot at. He's actually just following us. Shoot. Shoot. Because if you alternate between long range and short range, I find that works really well as long as you can... Re Ultra Shield. Now you die. I'm invincible for a short time. Or oh, that's what this ship does. Ha! Ah, drive through your gas cloud. He deserved that. They drop little canisters. And the canisters are where you get your XP, I think. See, like that one. Just like that one there. Once you fly so near it, you pick it up. I don't know if it's just salvage, which is what I think maybe makes your money in-game for the shop and the garage, or if it's XP. But it's either way. And it's nice that, again, every ship has a different set of abilities, and some of them control with the head, which I didn't think I'd like, but it very quickly grew on me. Ooh, he's got some countermeasures. He's in a ship like me! But it very quickly grew on me. 
and then suddenly you find yourself up against people who are flying ships that are so entirely different to yours. You find yourself outmaneuvering people and then they outmaneuver you and you're following them. I've had some excellent dogfights through like the bowels of a ship, basically. It's got a big ring full of metal bars and such and you can fly in between them and through them and it was a, it was a really good match. Very difficult to explain. This is why normally I record 100% of what I'm playing in case anything happens but lately I've just been going on to this at, at night and just having a few matches against random people and just really enjoying it but it does mean now I've got lots of memories but nothing I can show you so you just have to take my word for it I'm trying are we losing is that because I've been pissing around talking about stuff to you guys and not necessarily winning the war it's not my fault the other guys should be better. I shouldn't be carrying the team. It just proves I'm okay at the goddamn game, which is quite nice. I do like this ship. Eek, there we go. I don't really want to smash into the wall. Make every shot count and then suddenly they're all dead. What happens if I fly through this? Oh, you do get ones that hurt you, do you? Yeah, they take away your shield, okay, because if you fly, they're little spiders, but if you fly through a blue one, that's your teams, and they heal you. If you fly through a red one, then you get red spiders on you, and they take away shield and stuff. They damage the ship. Oh, wow, there's lots and lots of salvage. Lots and lots of salvage. Oh, fly up here. I really should be trying to win this war, but there's so many nice nooks and crannies to sort of fly over and through and explore it's actually quite quite impressive makes me wish that the actual eve game eve online was it on playstation vr or no man's sky where you could just have a ship and this would just be part of flying around would be this and we just have to wait and see how long it takes all these developers to actually make brand new experiences but until then we'll just have to deal with what we have but i'm really really loving this this is great. Anyway, I think I've uh, proved my point. Five kills, one death. And again, that one death was really my fault. I wasn't really paying attention. And yeah, still, you've seen me fail around on the internet more than enough. So if you've liked this, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And do see me in the next episode of Eve Valkyrie Online Warzone, where we just shoot people in space.